Everybody's about to fight everybody. The Boers and the Transvaal, it's Johannesburg, Pretoria region, are about to fight the Zulus, and the Zulus are about to fight the Boers. And really what they're going to fight about is the Boers and the Transvaal are trying to build a railway line down to Mozambique. In order to do that, they have to go through part of Zulan. And the British are after the wealth in Southern Africa's soil, the gold, the diamonds, the coal. These Zulu warriors were able to move between 40 to 55 miles a day for five or six days at a time. When they're jogging those distances, they're jogging between six and seven miles an hour. When they come into battle, last moment, much faster, 10 to 14 miles an hour, the speed of a modern day marathon runner, damn good one at that. They carry a shield, average height of the shield is five foot six high, comes up with the more than jawbone. Average height of the Zulu was six foot, average height of the British soldiers five foot six. Up against, unquestionably, the finest little army in the world, armed with a Martini Henry rifle, but slow to move. David Ratchie used to make a remark about this, this battlefield, and, and so did Ian Plough, I think. What you want to do is get every single politician we've got on this battlefield and tell them the story. Then all this nonsense we have, in the, the, the fighting between one party and another, would actually disappear. The problem now with our people, especially now the young generation, maybe of the same age as mine, some of them, they don't care about this wonderful history. first three years I was running the place more or less without funding. That was quite hard. <laughs> we went through a very hard time. But we could improve and uh, I would say we are back on the right way. You have that huge load of history, what you always have to carry. You can be proud of it, of course, but, on the, but it is, till date, a kind of pressure. So that means the public or the audience, they expect something from us, which was done or which has to be done, has to be done and uh, with mi which might be done. But at least we have to face the contemporary situation. And that means maybe we cannot follow the, 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 the branding which was established in the 60s because a lot of th things changed, like in the 60s, Nobody was thinking about globalization. So we have to, to focus the, the globalized market. We need the young ones. But there are many, but you know, they have that problem. That uh, they come and go. Come and go. I think Ross, if they, it has got his own, uh, what I'll say, uh, style. <laughs>